Right, so another ecology one. This one is about eutrophication. Notice the spelling, it's an I in there. Eutrophication. Uh, this is all to do with water. A lot of people make mistake on this one. There's a, a very sim uh, simple straightforward mistake people make, so we'll go through it a little bit. So what we've got here is um, perhaps a farmer's field and he's got some crops growing in it. I don't know what that is. Um, weeds or barley, doesn't matter. And we've got a pond nearby or a stream. And we've got some plants in there. Um, weeds and things, water weeds, pond weed, and maybe a bit of algae. Now, what the farmer will be doing is he'll be putting fertiliser on the crop. Now the problem is that fertiliser, um, although it's good for the plants, it will make the plants grow. It won't just make these plants grow, it will make any plants grow. So if any of that fertiliser ends up in the water, um, then any plants in here will, will also gain the benefit and start growing more. Now why would the fertiliser go in there? Well it gets washed in uh, when it rains, or eventually this stuff soaks into the sun and it gets its way into the waterways and the rivers and so on. Now, as soon as it's in there, it's going to do its job. Oh, by the way, I should actually say, particularly the problem is nitrates here and phosphates, groups of chemicals uh, commonly found in, in fertilizers. Those are the, the two key ones. Um, and I mention this because you sometimes get um, these in other chemicals as well. So things like wash powders and things contain phosphates and they also can get washed in. Anyway, let's put a little fish in here. Why not? Let's have a couple of them. And they are happily swimming along doing their fishy things and the fertilizers will make the the plants in here grow so what we get is suddenly a lot of um, pond weed this thick greeny stuff um, in fact these are called algal blooms when algae um, start growing very quickly it's called a bloom you get these things at sea as well and they're, they're huge things um, sudden bursts of growth and um, perhaps we've got our other plants here will start growing a bit more now, it's, there's nothing toxic here. This is where the mistake comes. People think that the fertiliser is in some way toxic and is damaging the life in here. It isn't. All it's doing is it's making these plants grow. Now, of course, being natural things, these plants will grow and uh, go through a life cycle and then they'll die. Now, when they die, they will start to rot. And here's where the problem comes, because the rotting is done by bacteria. And the bacteria, of course, when, when we talk about rotting things, it's really just bacteria feeding. It's the, that's what they feed on, this rotten material. And the bacteria will be respiring. And the respiration requires oxygen. So what we've got now is a kind of waterway that's full of decaying dead plant material. All choking at the bottom. And we've got all these bacteria in here that are using up all the oxygen. And that's where the problem comes. There's not enough oxygen left actually dissolved in the water. So our poor little fish um, will die. And you end up eventually, if you, you don't try and stop this, with instead of ponds and streams with flowing water, it's just full of dead decaying um, plant matter with not really many living things there. There are things that can live in there you tend to get little worms called blood worms and things living in this kind of appalling, horrible water, but certainly not the kind of clean water that you like. So do be careful, it's an easy trap to fall into. It's not that the um, fertilizer in some way kills the animals in there, it's that the bacteria that are decaying the plants use up all the oxygen.